I am Anil Kumar. In this video, I will take up few examples based on equation of circle where the center is the origin. Here we have seven questions. You can always pause the video, copy these questions, answer them and then look into my suggestions. Now, In all these questions, we have assumed that the center of the circle is at the origin. right? And therefore, the equation is x square plus y square equals to r square. Here is question number one for you. Determine the equation of circle with radius of 8. Now we know equation of the circle is x square plus y square equals to r square. Since r is equal to 8, we can write this as x square plus y square equals to h square. It's better to write the equation as x square plus y square equals to 64, which is square of 8. Question number 2. State radius of the circle x square plus y square equals to 49. Now here, we know equation is x square plus y square equals to r square. We are given x square plus y square equals to 49. Now that simply means that r square should be equal to 49, correct? comparing these two. Now from here, I mean 49, r square equals to 49 and therefore r will be square root of 49. Remember radius is always positive so we have to always take the positive value which is 7. So in this case radius r is equals to 7 units. Now question number 3 here is Write equation of a circle passing through the point 3, 4 with center at the origin. Now let's try to understand it. So what we are given here is, is a circle with center at the origin and we are given a point on the circle. So the point here is given to us as 3, 4. So this point here, for example, is 3, 4. So we need to find radius to get the equation of the circle. Radius will be equal to 3 square plus 4 square square root which is 9 plus 16 square root or 25 square root. Radius is always greater than 0, right? Greater than or equal to 0. So it is 5. Since radius is 5, the equation of the circle will be x square plus y square equals to 5 square or x square plus y square equals to 25, correct? So that is how you get the equation of the circle. Question number 4. Write equation of the circle with end points of its diameter at minus 6, 8 and 6, minus 8. So let me again sketch a circle. In this case, we are given that the diameter is minus 6, 8, minus 6, 8, and 6, minus 8, right? So, kind of like this. Now, what we need to do is first to verify that the center is indeed through origin, right? So, let's find the midpoint. So we are given the two points, let's call them A and B. So point A for us is minus 6, 8 and point B is 6, minus 8. The midpoint of points A and B is add them, divide by 2. So minus 6 plus 6 divided by 2, comma. Y point 8 minus 8 divided by 2. So that gives you the midpoint coordinates which is indeed 0, 0. So that means origin is the midpoint. Now let's find the radius, right? So radius is half the distance of the diameter. Radius is, you can say half of diameter. So one method is you could find the diameter and do half of it. Or second is you can find distance from center. So 
either one of them is the right approach. So let's take one of these points. A is minus 6, 8. Let us find the distance from center and call it radius r. So r will be equal to minus 6 minus 0 whole square plus 8 minus 0 whole square square root, which gives us 6 square plus 8 square square root, which is 36 plus 64 square root, and that is 10. Now, since we know that the radius is 10, the equation of the circle should be x square plus y square equals to 10 square or x square plus y square equals to 100. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So let's move on and do question 5. Question 5. The point P, A5, lies on the circle x square plus y square equals to 169. Find possible values of A. So we know the equation of the circle is x square plus y square equals to 169. We know that the point P, which is A5, is on the circle. Now here, y value is given to us as 5. We need to find what is the value of x coordinate, right? So let's substitute 5 here. So we get x squared plus 5 squared equals to 169. x squared equals to 169 minus 5 squared, which is 25. So we get 169 minus 25. And that is 144. So the value of x will be square root of 144. And whenever you do square root, you have to take both positive and negative values. So what we get here is plus and minus 12. Therefore, a is equal to plus and minus 12. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Question number six. Is the line segment joining the point M, 4 minus 1, and N, minus 4 minus 1, chord of the circle defined by x squared plus y squared equals to 17? Now, chord means what? So if I sketch a circle in general, chord means a segment whose endpoints are on the circle right so that is what it means so basically we need to show that both points lie on the circle right so let's test so test for m and n to be on the circle right so that's the symbol for circle the equation is x square plus y square equals to 17 coordinates of point m are 4 minus 1 so if I substitute 4 for x, I get 4 squared. And substituting minus 1 for y, we get minus 1 squared. That gives us 16 plus 1, which is indeed 17. So that is correct. This point is on the circle. And now let us test point n, which is minus 4 minus 1. So minus 4 squared plus minus 1 squared is also equal to 17. So 17 is the right side, so that means this point also lies on the circle, right? So since both M and N satisfy the equation of the circle, they lie on the circle, correct? This implies that M and N is the chord for the given circle. Perfect. So that is how you could explain your answer. The last question here is question number seven. Find coordinates of a point one unit away from the circle x squared plus y squared equals to 16. Now uh, let's look into it. Let's just say this is my circle center being at the origin when we say that 16, we could write this as x squared plus y squared equals to 4 squared. That means 4 is the radius, correct? That means 4 is the radius. So the point here could be treated as, as 0, 4. Now the question is, find coordinates of a point one unit away from this circle. Now one unit away could be 
any point which is either outside or inside right so this could be one unit away this could be one unit away this could be one unit away that could be one unit away so for simplicity i can take the coordinates of the point 5 0 so point 5 0 is one unit away from the circle since this distance between the circumference the periphery of the circle and the point is one unit similarly the other points could be minus 5 0 0 5 or 0 minus 5 now these are easy points to get so you could write any of these answers or or some complicated one but I hope with this you understand how to look into simple circle equation x square plus y square equals to r square where the origin is the center and r is the radius now we'll take a few examples where the center of the circle will be at some other point and we'll look into standard form of equation and general form of circle equation thanks for watching and i hope you benefit from the video if you subscribe to my videos that'd be great Thank you and all the best.